Hey everyone, uh, this is Brian again. Um, a few months ago, I did a comparison video on uh, these four Escoda synthetic uh, watercolor travel brushes. Um, they were the Perla, the Versatil, the Prado, and the Ultimo. And when I did this comparison, I was wondering um, how these compared to Escoda's uh, natural uh, sable travel brush, the Reserva. And since doing that video, I've received quite a few comments from a lot of you wondering the same thing. You know, how do these synthetic brushes compare to um, Escoda's uh, Kalinsky sable uh, brush? This is the Escoda Reserva. This is a fully um, natural brush. Uh, this is not the synthetic fibers. Uh, used on the four brushes I just showed you. Um, this is made from uh, what's called Kalinsky Tajmir Sable, and I will put that on the screen somewhere uh, to show you how that's spelled. I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation. Um, but uh, according to Escoda's website, this is made of Tajmir Sable, uh, Kalinsky Tajmir Sable, and um, they say it's an elite hair for watercolor. As uh, many of us know, that's uh, pretty much the best, uh, if not the actual best, uh, fibers you can use in a watercolor brush. They're good at uh, holding their spring and they hold quite a bit of uh, water and, and paint mixture. Uh, Escoda says they only use the best male Kalinsky sable hair and the Tajmir region um, is in northern Siberia. So um, uh, to keep your brush happy, you might want to keep it uh, in the refrigerator. It's used to that climate. Uh, I certainly will be keeping mine in there. Are you kidding me? Come on! Okay, so today I'm going to compare this Kalinsky uh, Escoda Reserva travel brush to a couple of the brushes uh, from the last round, uh, from the last video I did comparing these synthetic brushes. Uh, so I'm gonna compare it to the synthetic Perla, and I'm gonna compare it to the uh, synthetic Versatil. And I'm gonna leave the Ultimo um, and the Prado out of this. Uh, the Ultimo carried more water than these two synthetics, but it's not the same type of brush. It doesn't hold the same kind of point like a Kalinsky brush does. So I'm just gonna compare it to these two uh, for uh, this part of the comparison. So I'm just kind of looking at the springiness of these and how soft the bristles are, what the points are like, that kind of thing. Okay, so if you look at these, you can tell that the Reserva here has a nice full belly um, to the brush, you know, right in this area compared to the uh, Perla and the Versatil. And it comes to a real nice sharp point as the other ones do as well. Now this uh, belly on this brush should help it carry more water, uh, more paint mixture uh, than the other two. We'll see when we uh, do our uh, capacity test in a minute here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my palette into here and let's see, I'll just use some of this sepia. And I want to see how these compare in terms of line width and that kind of thing, springiness. Okay, so here's the Reserva. And you can get a really nice nice fine line that is very sustaining it doesn't want to doesn't seem to be wanting to run out on me very easily which is good got a nice thick thick thin uh thing going on probably need a little more moisture in that mix it's kind of skipping up on me but yeah it, it handles well um it has a nice point to it um, it's got good spring to it. <laughs> it's got good spring to it. Um, 
and it handles well. It's got good balance and everything in the hand. Okay, so next let's take a look at the uh, Versatil. Now right away I can tell this is um, a little snappier than the Sable. Um, it has more spring to it. Um, let's see how it handles again. Yeah, you can get real nice fine lines. Um, in this case, not quite as fine as the uh, Reserva, but darn close. And the Reserva is a newer brush, too, so that, that may have something to do with it. But yeah, it, it's a nice brush. Handles well. Get some nice thin lines. Okay, so now we'll move on to the Perla. See how that does. Make sure I'm not getting too much pain in there. Let's see. Yeah, that uh, that makes some nice fine lines too. I seem to have gotten some finer lines with the Reserva. Oh, there we go. Now I'm getting some nice fine ones. Yeah, so they all handle really well. Um, the Versatil Synthetic and the Perla Synthetic definitely have more snap to the bristles. Um, the Reserva has plenty of snap for me, but it is a definitely a softer brush. But it does it does come back. It doesn't flop over like a like a squirrel hair brush uh, and stay there. It, it does retain its shape. Now one of the things with uh, natural hair brushes is I don't believe they're as durable as synthetics so while the point and the springiness are good right now it may wear out uh, faster than these synthetics I know that I've gone through uh, quite a few Kalinsky brushes over the years and and they do tend to uh, wear out the tip does end up uh, getting away from being pointy um, so that's a consideration, but it's not it's not a major one to me because it does take a long time to even wear out a natural hairbrush. But it's something to think about. Okay, this is the comparison I was most uh, interested in seeing uh, to see which brush held the most uh, pigment and water uh, in one brush load. So I'm using this reddish mixture here and loading each brush up fully, um, making sure I drop off any extra drops that wouldn't cling to the brush uh, before I actually go to the paper. So right now I'm using the uh, Reserva uh, brush, the one this video is mainly about. Looks like it did a whole column and a tiny bit of the next one. Uh, the next brush up here is the Versatil. Okay, it looks like it's kind of uh, running out. It ran out there before it finished the whole bar. So, so far the Reserva holds quite a bit more paint than the Versatil. Next up is the Perla. Now this one, uh, in my last review, held a little more paint than the Versatil, and I think that's the case as well this time. Although less of a difference uh, than than last time, so it might have been the paint mixture might have been a little, I don't know, not sure why, but uh, pretty similar to how much the Versatil holds. So both the Perla and the Versatil were pretty similar in terms of paint load this time. Uh, lastly is the Ultimo. This is Escoda's synthetic squirrel brush, and th these brushes are. Uh, more about having a, a big load of paint than they are about fine detail and things like that. They're for bigger washes and things. And so, as to be expected, it, it holds more paint than the others. Uh, but pretty equal to the Reserva, the, the Kalinsky Sable natural brush, uh, in terms of how much the Ultimo holds. I decided to throw the Prado in here as well uh, and see where that comes in. That way we're looking at at least for this part of this uh, comparison, we're looking at all four of the synthetics that I checked out last time. 
And last and like last time, the Prado uh, comes a little bit short of the Perla and the Versatile. So um, yeah, so the Ultimo and the uh, Reservo were pretty equal. Um, you know, without looking at the Ultimo, uh, that Reservo holds so, quite a bit of uh, uh, conclusion, quite a bit of pain. I wanted this to be kind of a quick review. Um, I really do like the Reserva brush. Um, it, uh, as you saw, does hold quite a bit more pigment uh, than the two synthetics. I like that a lot. Um, I do like its uh, its springiness, although these are slightly springier. The synthetics are slightly springier. Um, Price-wise, uh, the Reserva is quite a bit more expensive uh, than the other two. Uh, the Reserva, I just checked online, and... It runs uh, in the neighborhood of 60 to 80 US dollars, which is, is pricey for a brush, um, for sure. But you're always uh, going to pay a lot more for Kalinsky Sable. And that, uh, that's risen in recent years as well. It used, they used to be more affordable than they are now. Um, both the Versatil and the Perla are, uh, and they're the synthetics, they're kind of in the 25 to $35 uh, US dollar range. So the Reserva is a good two to three times more expensive than the synthetic. So it's just kind of uh, what you're willing to pay and, and what you want your brush to do. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about uh, uh, natural hair brushes versus synthetic. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. And I hope everyone's doing well and take care.